Satore. And actually for everybody, I'm I'm gonna assume that you mean third party recruiters that have their own firms that are working on behalf of organizations who are their clients versus going directly uh, to uh, the organization yourself. I am gonna qualify my answer and I'm gonna give you a couple of different viewpoints. Now, excuse me, the recruitment firms, they can be very, very good to work with because recruiters can introduce you properly, prepare you properly, they know the organizations, they can give you the inside track, and let's be honest, I as an executive recruiter, I want my clients, I want to make a good match. And if I've presented a candidate of mine who I've recruited or who's come to me, and we're bringing you or her, him or her, to the organization, I want that to be successful. I want that to be successful. So they are going to prepare you and give you a leg up. As a matter of fact, I, I, I told the I-teamers this. This book, Interview Intervention, this book is literally what I would speak to my job candidates as I would prepare them to go in for an interview. Could you imagine, like the whole book, I would talk it to them. And then I wrote the book and then I, I had them read it, so which is much easier on my time. But that's what I mean. So recruiters can be very, very good to work with. Do not be overly concerned about the money that a company has to pay a recruiter. If a company has committed to paying the recruiter, whether it's a retainer or a, a retainer or a, a contingent recruiter, meaning they only get paid if you take the job, uh, that's okay. That's cool. Don't worry about that. If you know the company, if you know the company and you've got you know maybe an employee referral or something like that, or maybe you know the recruiter, who knows, or the corporate recruiter, um, you, there's nothing wrong with going in directly. So there's, it's not as though I think there's an advantage of going in on your own. As a matter of fact, I would say the advantage lies with if you if if the recruiter is a corp, or a third party recruiter is a good recruiter, then the advantage is going through the recruitment firm. Um, but if you contact the organization yourself, uh, please be careful. There's a, a kind of a professional etiquette. Sometimes it's a legal issue in the contracts that people set up with recruitment firms sometimes organizations if you contact them and or, and then you speak with a recruiter who's working with that company it, if you contacted them before the recruiter contacted them on your behalf the recruiter might not be able to handle you through the process and help coach you throughout that process because the company might not pay the recruiter because you actually contacted them first there are many different variations of this uh, what we call stimulation of interest clauses and things of that nature, but it gets a little it gets a little touchy, and you never know what the arrangement is between the company and the recruiter. And as a matter of fact, we do retain search for some companies that if you contacted them, they would just send you to us, and then we would work with you and evaluate you, and then bring you in if if we felt that you were a good fit. So there's so many different situations, and and so it's it's hard, you know without knowing the strength of your relationship with the existing company, uh, how I would go about it.